Welcome to the new Nipissing Perry Sound COVID-19 status report. This dashboard provides local COVID-19 data related to cases, outbreaks, testing, and vaccinations. The data is updated daily, Monday through Friday, and provides a snapshot of the local COVID-19 situation at the time of data extraction. The overview tab allows you to view general information about local cases, including those that remain active and those that have resulted in death or hospitalization. You can also view information on the number of cases with a preliminary or confirmed variant of concern. Data in this tab can be filtered by district or it can be viewed at the health unit level. The cases tab provides more detailed information about local cases, including age group, exposure, and reported date. For detailed definitions of the terms used on this page, go to the notes tab. Data on this page can be filtered by district as well as time period. The outbreak tab highlights past and current outbreaks in childcare centers, long-term care homes, and retirement homes, as well as schools. You can view information about the location of the outbreak, the date it was declared and resolved, and the total cases involved in the outbreak. Note that for outbreaks with fewer than five cases, the total case count is shown as less than five due to privacy concerns. For more information about outbreaks in Ontario, a link to the Ontario database is at the bottom of the page. The testing tab provides information on the number of tests completed among local residents by month and day. Data here can also be filtered by district and time period. The vaccination tab highlights two main metrics, vaccinations administered at local clinics and vaccinations administered to local residents. Doses administered at local clinics include both first and second doses given to residents and non-residents at vaccine events in the health unit region. Doses administered to local residents includes individuals with a permanent address within the health unit region, regardless of where they've received their vaccine. The percentage of residents with doses includes the adult population aged 18 plus and is estimated using the 2020 population projections. Finally, the notes tab contains a glossary of terms used throughout the dashboard. Thanks for watching our dashboard overview video. Check out the dashboard Mondays at 10 a.m. and Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. for the latest COVID-19 update.